Warren claims to be Cherokee, her real ancestor enforced the Trail of Tears. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has long made the claim that she is part Cherokee, but has done little to prove that assertion. A few years back, Reed Bart's Michael Patrick Leahy wrote about the subject, pointing out some rather disturbing aspects about Warren's heritage that are worth revisiting since the senator's recent spat with President Donald Trump over her nickname Pocahontas. Leahy wrote that after researching the matter, the senator's family lore is just fiction. Warren has referred to an 1894 Oklahoma Territory marriage license application by her great-great-great-uncle William J. Crawford which supposedly indicated that his mother, O.C. Sarah Smith Crawford, Warren's great-great-great-grandmother, was Cherokee. Leahy pointed out that there was no evidence to support the claim that O.C. Sarah Smith Crawford was indeed Cherokee. As a matter of fact, she was listed as white in the 1860 census. Through a lead provided to him by William Jacobson, Leahy made an even more stunning discovery about Warren's great-great-great-grandfather, Jonathan Crawford. Crawford served in the East Tennessee Mounted Infantry Volunteer Militia commanded by Brigadier General R.G. Dunlap from late 1835 to late 1836. Crawford was a member of Major William Lauderdale's battalion, which was responsible for removing Cherokee families from their land in Georgia, North Carolina and Tennessee, driving them into specially designated Indian Territory, according to Leahy. That displacement of some 4,000 Cherokees is known as the Trail of Tears, which began in January 1837. History.com reported that almost 125,000 Native Americans lived on millions of acres of land in Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee which their ancestors had occupied and cultivated for generations. That is not exactly a highlight in American history. Leahy reported that Crawford arrived in Florida in November 1837, and served there for six months until his unit was disbanded the following May. Crawford's service was confirmed by Smith Crawford's 1851 pension application in Tennessee. Leahy stated that O.C. Sarah Smith Crawford never claimed Cherokee heritage. Neither Jonathan Crawford nor any of their seven children did, either. But Warren certainly has. How ironic it would be if Warren, who cannot prove her Cherokee heritage, is revealed to be the great-great-great-granddaughter of a militiaman who took part in forcibly removing Native Americans from their homes. The senator's connection to the Cherokee tribe may be worse than she could have ever imagined. One thing is certain, her stories don't add up. Please like and share this story on Facebook and Twitter to spread the word about Elizabeth Warren's possible connection to the Cherokee people. People.